Welcome to BitBoy Crypto. My name is Ben. Today, we're going to be discussing, does the Ripple case end this week? And if so, what does that mean for crypto in general? We're going to be taking a look at that. Uh, on my way to the airport right now, going to uh, head out to go on InfoWars tomorrow. Uh, Alex Jones, shout, shout out to Gene. What's up, Gene? Hey, what's happening? That's my guy, Gene. All right, so let's talk about, um, and look, you may disagree with this platform and stuff. I, anytime I can, go chance, uh, I can get a chance to go talk about crypto uh, with an audience, then that's what I want to do, and I, I think it's beneficial. Um, obviously, um, you know, just like anybody else out there in the world, I don't agree with 100% or uh, even close to it uh, of things that Alex has or beliefs. Um, there's a lot of stuff he said that turned out to be true for sure. Um, and, you know, right now we're getting the, the Twitter dump today on Fauci. We'll see what happens there. See how much stuff he was correct about uh, with the pandemic. But, guys, let's talk about Ripple. So, Ripple's, the XRP Army's very favorite person, Charles Hoskinson, very, very favorite person, uh, was actually doing it like a live AMA or something like that. I think it was yesterday. And said, he's hearing rumors that the XRP case is going to be over on December 15th. Now, I'd have to cross-check. I, I believe that there maybe is some something going on December 15th in the case specifically, but um, I'll go ahead and say first and foremost, I don't, I don't think this is true. I don't think the Ripple case is ending this week. If it did, that would be absolutely insane. Um, we'll talk about the timing here in a moment. But this is what you have to know about Charles is that um, he's a lot more plugged in to the CFTC than he is the SEC. Uh, I don't think the SEC falls under the Agricultural Committee like the CFTC does, um, but that's the big department, the Agricultural Committee, that he does a lot of testifying at. Um, and, and so, you know, he definitely knows some things. He knows some things. Uh, basically, when I gave my bill <clears throat> to Charles uh, back beginning of, end of September, uh, when I met with him at Rare Bloom, he told me, he said, look, he said, he gave me some feedback about the bill, uh, some critiques and feedback. And then he said, by the way, we checked out all the stuff you were saying about Sam and federal bill license, and it's all true. <laughs> so <laughs> he knows how he knows how to confirm. He knows how he knows, you know, people up there in the political game. He, he speaks a lot. Uh, it's a great ambassador for the space. And, and he's really good. So there could be maybe something to this, but it would just be really shocking that this would leak out ahead of time. Um, it, to me, that would make it almost seem like this was pre-planned to end, you know, at the end of this year. Um, what's really fascinating is if you look at the timing, okay, December 15th, what's happening that day? Fed meeting. I think it's the 14th and 15th, so that be, should be the day we give the bits uh, down to 15 instead of 75, uh, which would be really bullish. Of course, if XRP case ends, that's really bullish. But what else do we have going on this week? That's right, the Maxine Waters Senate Bank Finance Committee hearings with Sam Bankman fried who going to be there Tuesday. I don't know. Remote, maybe. We'll see what happens there. Um, I, I can't see him staying seven foot in America. I can't see it. I, I cannot see it. There's no way his lawyer will let him, but he's unpredictable and he hasn't listened to his lawyers the whole time anyway. So that's why they keep dropping like flies and quitting. But the point here is, is that this would be such a crazy week for the Ripple case to end. Now, when we say end or in a settlement, I mean, certainly we hope that ends with uh, you know, XRP not being declared a security. I don't see any way that it does. Uh, the lawyer team for library, the lost their case against the SEC doesn't hold a candle uh, to what's going on with uh, you know the, the Ripple attorneys and, and things like that. So, you know, I don't want people to get too excited um, at all. I actually want to like go on the other side and say, calm down, hold your horses. I don't think this is gonna happen. I think that's important for me to tell you. Uh, but also understand it's possible. I mean, you know, this case is gonna end at some point. I predict quarter two. Uh, quarter two to quarter three, like basically the summer next year is uh, what I'm looking at for this case uh, to be over. But uh, let me know, drop your comments down below. Uh, tell me what you think about uh, Charles and his possible prediction or rumors that he's hearing. If you guys heard the same thing, XRP Army, throw that down below uh, in the chat. So much good stuff going on, uh, guys, with the crypto news space. Like, just fascinating stuff right now. Um, we, we also have the block. You know, we found out they got paid $27 million, the CEO did, uh, from SBF. I can't wait to go back and cross-check a lot of the block articles and see who they were doing hit pieces on, who were they supporting. And that's a very, very important um, you know, important aspect of this. Uh, but, but I want to say, 
there's a lot going on right now. We need to be looking at everything from the perspective of how do we prevent all this from happening again? And that is the number one thing, number one thing we should be looking at. How do we keep the media from getting corrupted? How do we keep traditional finance 2.0, Wall Street 2.0 out of crypto? How do we keep these, uh, you know, Ponzi, uh, over leveraged centralized exchange CEOs in check? Um, you know, it's a question. I think it, it deserves an answer. So, uh, you guys drop those down below and, uh, I'll be back. We got a video tonight coming out, very important video. Definitely want you guys to watch that video coming out tonight at seven o'clock. It's a very important video about something that happened to me and my family that we want to push for um, some regulations around. I know it's, it's weird, right? Like we're in the crypto regulation world, but this is something totally different. Um, and it's very important. So guys, make sure to come uh, back tonight. I'm gonna be in Texas. That's all I got, be blessed. Be well.